The 2017 legislative session is underway and one of the many ways that you serve the citizens of the 9th District and also Washington State is on designated House committees. Which committees are you focusing on this year? This year I'm serving on both the Capital Budget and also on the Environment Committee. I served on the Environment Committee last year as well. But with this year, I'm really looking forward to the work that we'll be doing in Environment Committee because we're working on the Hearst decision. And that has a tremendous impact on the property values that are affected in Eastern Washington in particular. And you know, we're mandated to fully fund education by the end of this session. And with that mandate, you know that property values is how we fund education. And it puts us in a catch-22. I wanted to be on the front line with the Hearst decision. Every session, priorities are established to kind of set the tone of the work done during these 105 days. What are your key priorities? My key priorities this year is working on agricultural regulation and making sure that it works for our industries in eastern Washington. And I'm also working on broadband so that we can introduce technologies across the state that have only had access in more urbanized areas. So if we can facilitate the build out of broadband in eastern Washington, that's what my priority is. You've been working on legislation related to current oil train regulations and the impact that those regulations have on the ag industry. What are those bill proposals about? Yes, we passed comprehensive oil train regulation two years ago, but inadvertently swept in some very important classes of oil that wasn't intended to be included in the Bach and crude oil regulations. So the bill allows food grade vegetable oil, and also other kinds of agricultural oils to be shipped through federal regulation without having to deploy the additional contingency planning that's required by this very, very stringent law that regulates crude oil. And what about the Class Three railroads? The Class Three railroads are short haul railroads that are regulated under different rules in the federal government, but the oils that are being transported are very small quantities. And so this allows some of those oils like fish oil and MSO crop oil to be transported in an economic way without forcing them onto the state's highways. All right, thanks so much. It's gonna be an exciting session. Very exciting, thank you.